Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome, welcome. I have the unfortunate job of telling you, those of you who might have parked in the lot on the back here by a no parking sign that uh, you may face a $40 parking fine if you don't move your car. So if you park sort of on the curb where it says no parking, please move it just to be safe. We don't know if they enforce it on Saturdays, but uh, I think you might want to do that. And you can park across on the plaza. I, I found that out this morning as well when I arrived. There's lots of space over there. So this is a remarkable event, I think, today that Janet and her team have organized for all of us here. And uh, it's one more example of how we're innovating in our professional learning programs at York. Uh, you're going to be hearing more about some of the innovations that we're working on uh, as the day progresses, including a modular approach to our professional development where there'll be short 25-hour uh, learning modules available uh, for you as well. Um, the voucher that Janet mentioned is one further example of how we really appreciate your loyalty and attendance in our programs. And you'll also be hearing a little bit about, I think, uh, the idea of us allowing advanced credit towards a master's degree if you take a York AQ course and, and fulfill a, a requirement for a, a, a paper uh, summarizing your experiences and what you've learned in the area. Um, so we've always really been a pioneer in um, the AQ courses in Ontario. And I'd like to think not only a pioneer, we're really the premier uh, provider of AQ courses. Uh, back when I, I joined the faculty, actually, in the mid-1980s, a long time ago, um, we were uh, the, the leader in the province in terms of developing the initial guidelines for AQ courses. For instance, uh, the uh, special ed courses, the reading courses, computers in the classroom, computer science, uh, ESL, and the list goes on. York instructional leaders were the ones who did the development of these courses. And so what you see today and what you're taking today has evolved, of course, from those original courses that we developed in the province. Uh, we had roughly uh, 10,000 enrollments in our courses. We were operating at 300 different locations in, in the GTA. Um, and we had something like, uh, oh, equal number at least of instructors teaching in the program at the time. So it was very large. And then uh, in the mid 80s, the province, sorry, mid 90s, the province pulled the funding from the AQ courses. They used to be subsidized by the province, um, but as you know, they no longer are. Um, and at that point, we reconceptualized our whole uh, program or AQ program, and we moved to a co-op model, which we currently have as well. And by the co-op model, I mean where we work more closely with boards in terms of planning the offerings and getting recommendations for the instructors in the courses. So we do have this co-op uh, arrangement where we've got three regional co-ops of groups of boards who work together. And I think it's been a very successful and unique model in the province. So uh, this has served us well, and we hope we will continue to meet the uh, needs of teachers in the uh, the, the GTA in terms of uh, professional learning requirements. Before I leave, I have two slides to show you uh, about showing how important it is for your work, and they're coming up in a moment. Okay. Um, I, the, the top is cut off, but why teacher professional learning is so important. This is some research done by Linda Darling Hammond in uh, the late 1990s. Um, if you hit the uh, return button or forward key once more, you'll see an arrow come up. I hope, yeah, there it is, <laughs> okay. We all know how important the, the, the background of our students is, the home family background. That's very influential on learning. We all know that. Um, what perhaps, oh, no, no, uh, please go back. <laughs> uh, what we don't know um, is, is sort of the importance of teachers in that whole process. If you see teacher qualifications, 43% of sort of the, the influence of the, the variance that contributes towards student success depends on teacher qualifications, teacher education more generally, not just taking AQ courses naturally, but general background of and expertise of teachers. So this illustrates how important it is. I mean, we all like small classes and small schools. We all do, at university as well. But we know that that doesn't influence outcomes as much as you as a teacher and your own 
preparation and background. Now if we could move to the next slide. This, this is another study, uh, again, uh, carried out by uh, Linda Darling Hammond, that shows sort of the influence of teacher education, teacher preparation on students' uh, achievements. So for every $500 that the board might want to invest, the best bang for the buck is investing in teachers. Uh, lowering pupil-teacher ratio, yeah, that helps in terms of test scores. Increasing teacher salaries, yeah, <laughs> that means that you attract perhaps better teachers, more qualified teachers. Increasing teachers' experience, that means hiring, of course, say, more experienced teachers at a board. Um, but teacher education, investing in teachers, that is the most powerful thing today that you'll see uh, in terms of influencing student achievement, student outcomes. So we know that what you're doing, you're doing the right thing, investing in yourselves and by investing in yourselves, by taking AQ courses and other forms of professional learning, that students are going to benefit. And that's, of course, the bottom line. Students are going to benefit from your experience. So with that, I'll, I'll leave it and um, introduce my colleague as well. I believe I'm going to introduce Celia. Sure, I'll introduce Celia. Dr. Celia Haig Brown, who is the Associate Dean responsible for research and professional development at our faculty, wants to also say a few words of welcome. So in closing, I wish you the very best of success today and continuing in your courses. And we hope to see you either in our graduate programs or our other additional qualification courses or our new learning modules, which Janet will be describing. So thank you very much and all the very best today.